So, Dr. Sai, tell me about the prostate and uh, the special procedure that you're bringing to our practice. Definitely. Uh, so, the prostate is a gland that's specific only to males. And what it is, it's a walnut, walnut sized organ or gland that hangs out at the kind of the neck of the bladder. And uh, its functions are for, to predominantly create fluid that's secreted into your ejaculate. Uh, and uh, over time, uh, as men age, the prostate can sometimes enlarge. Uh, you know, as opposed to you and I who get gray hairs and wrinkles, the prostate will sometimes get large with age. Mm -hmm. And as the prostate enlarges over time, uh, it starts creating issues uh, with uh, urination for men. So men may sometimes uh, experience weakened stream, uh, straining to urinate, waking up at night to urinate multiple times, uh, or just the sensation of not being able to urinate. Uh, some guys may also just may not be able to urinate at all. Um, what the whole uh, aims to do uh, is to essentially remove this portion of the prostate that's responsible uh, for obstructing the urine channel and allow a gentleman to pee uh, or urinate better. Um, the whole up or the holmium laser nucleation of the prostate was initially developed in the late 1990s. And uh, the reason it was developed was more of an answer to uh, prostates that were too large for other procedures uh, uh, like TERPS or now the Eurolift uh, to address. And uh, historically speaking, if your prostate was over a certain size, uh, you know, normal being around 30 grams or so, uh, with large being, you know, 60, 80 grams or greater, uh, if you had too large of a prostate, sometimes that uh, would have bought you a surgery that required, you know, a large incision in your belly and a fairly morbid procedure uh, where recovery took a long time and uh, the complications were numerous. Um, the Holop uh, was developed as an answer to this and uh, what it is, it's a minimally invasive solution where we do everything through the urethra, so there's no cuts uh, or incision sites to worry about. And uh, it takes part in uh, essentially two, uh, two portions. The first part is uh, coring out the prostate or nucleating it with the laser, with the holmium laser. And the second part is extracting all the prostate tissue that was freed up uh, from part one uh, through a morselation device that kind of takes the prostate tissue and uh, removes it all from the bladder. So the whole up, um, you know, is, is a very good solution. It's a very good procedure uh, for prostates. You know, originally it was developed for larger prostates, but we've seen that over the years, uh, as the, you know, as it's been refined, that it's been used to treat a wider, a wider array of sizes. So small prostates to large prostates, the the whole up is something that, uh, if you're a good candidate, is a great procedure. Mm -hmm. Um, the reason why you're, it's not as prolific or not as uh, widespread as something like the TRP or the, you know, the rotor rooter uh, in layman's terms is that it's a procedure that's not very, that's not offered uh, at a lot of places. Um, the places that do offer it are large institutions uh, known as Mayo, uh, Cleveland Clinic. Um, the reason I was trained on this is that I was fortunate enough to learn from one of the, uh, these individuals, my mentor, who came from these large institutions. We were able to pick that up. Uh, on top of it being a relatively rare procedure uh, to learn and train uh, with, the, the whole of, does have a pretty uh, steep bell curve in terms of learning. So it does require a good amount of procedures under your belt for you to do, a, mm -hmm. do the whole of correctly. Mm -hmm. Um, so tell me about the recovery process with the holop. Sure. Uh, so the recovery process for the holop is uh, fairly straightforward. Um, once you're done with your procedure, uh, we keep you overnight in the hospital uh, for observation. Uh, during this time, uh, we'll allow, we'll have a catheter in place and kind of irrigate fluid through it just to kind of help uh, clear out any clots or debris that build up after the surgery. Mm -hmm. uh, the following morning, if uh, your urine looks great, uh, the catheter gets removed, and if you're able to urinate, then you'll be able to go home without a catheter. Oh, great. Usually by about two weeks or so, uh, patients will start feeling back to normal, but we tell most patients that uh, you can, the recovery process can take up uh, anywhere from four to six weeks. Uh, side effects wise or you know, feelings or things to expect after your surgery, um, it's very common and to have transient uh, side effects. So 
urgency, uh, frequency, uh, a little bit of leakage too. That's all very common at the procedure. But what we find that at the six week mark after surgery patients, those side effects are all gone and they're all feeling very well. Mm -hmm.